In this video, we're gonna talk about what makes the on clouds different. And I'm sure some of you could just be like, yo, hey dumbass, I can see what makes it different. It's got these little holes in it, it's got these knobs, sure. But is it purely gimmicky? That's kind of the prejudice I had. You look on the shelf, you see all the different shoe manufacturers, all the different styles of shoes, and there's one that specifically stands out because it's got holes in the sole. Is it just pure gimmick or is there actual science behind it and functionality? And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. And I think on clouds does a terrible job in their marketing of getting that message out there of what it is that makes this different. Why did some Swiss engineer look at the shoe market and go, I can do something different. I can make a better mousetrap. And that took me trying to research their website. Even their tech spec sheets didn't tell me enough. So I do what I do on this channel is I dug into the patents and that's where I uncovered the reasoning behind what they talk about on their website as far as it reduces risk of injury, improves running economy. So first thing, yeah, it's it's the pots. But why? Why are there holes in it? Because rule of thumb, for about every 100 grams a shoe weighs, a person loses about 1% in the running economy. So people kind of theorize that if you're not wearing any shoes, you lose 0% running economy, but there's gotta be a net positive with the return you're getting in the shoe. Like for example, this cloud monster has a speed board, which is gonna improve running economy. And because this weighs 275 grams, any percentage in running economy that you lose, you should get a net positive from the functionality and the design of the shoe. A prime example, you get about four to 6% running economy return from like a Nike next percent, like the three that just came out. And because it's about 200 grams, you lose that 2%, but you gain four to 6% net positive anywhere in the neighborhood of two to 4%. That's kind of the rough math. And what a lot of shoe manufacturers are trying to do is figure out how in the hell can I make a shoe lighter without sacrificing the integrity and the functionality of the shoe? So in the super shoes, like the Next Percent, the Adios Pros, the Sock and the Endorphin Elites, and so on and so forth, they just start removing a lot of materials that affect durability. So if you get a standard running shoe, you hope to get probably about 500 miles out of it. Super shoes, as little as 150 miles, maybe at most 250 miles. And then the ROI becomes a factor because those super shoes cost way more in the neighborhoods of $250 on up versus a normal shoe getting 500 miles, which is probably the neighborhood of about hundred bucks or 120 or so. This shoe, the on clouds is about a happy medium. There is a speed board, not carbon fiber. It is thermoplastic that is injected into the sole, but it's about $170. And on cloud has thought outside the box in terms of how to make a shoe lighter, where a lot of other shoe manufacturers are looking at the upper, they're looking at different elements of how they can make a different PBAX foam. But what did on cloud do? They just put holes in here, but that, leads to another issue about the integrity and the rigidity of the return. And I got to tell you, they did it. Like I passed by this shoe so many times at the shoe store. And finally it was like, because I'm doing endurance training, because I want to do a shoe series and I love new technology. Is it gimmicky or does it have science? Well, let's do a comparison. I have what I would consider a comparable shoe in terms of price, in terms of marketing functionality. Like these are supposed to be like both running on fluffy clouds. I think this feels more like a cloud and at my weight, 198 pounds, this is too much for me. I think the Nike Invincible 3, I feel like I'm running in quicksand. It doesn't have enough feedback. It's also heavier. This is about 310 to 320 grams. This one is gives me better feedback with the speed board and I'm so surprised about the rigidity of this rubber sole and it's 275 grams. So a difference of 40 grams or so, which is about 0.4% running economy that I'm getting with even more getting back with the speed board. And that's what it is. That's what the patent outlines. There's two patents that are granted to on clouds. This is the cloud tech, right? But there's also their marketed speed board. I didn't find an independent patent for a speed board specifically, but within the sole construction patent, I did find that there is the ability to inject plastic in there, which is exactly what the speed board is. And as a bigger guy, the rigidity, the functionality and the science behind exactly why they created this and to remove weight through the holes, not just gimmick. I truly believe in it. This is 
a fantastic shoe and it's different. It's so crazy. So in order to get a patent, it's got to be novel. It's got to be non-obvious to the market. And someone, some Swiss engineer, now I'm not going to say because he's Swiss, he came up with it. Like when I think of Swiss engineering, I'm thinking of like Omega, Rolex. I will buy in that Swiss engineering is better in terms of watch design. You ain't going to buy me on shoes, but it is fascinating that some gentleman came across an idea and actually put it to use. And it's, it's not BS. It, it totally isn't. If you're a bigger runner, a heavier runner, I would definitely opt for something like the cloud monster over the Nike invincible three. So that's my breakdown of the patents. Super simple. It again, it's to improve running economy, figuring out different ways to remove weight from a shoe to help the runner go farther, go faster. As far as the scientifically proven or whatever verbiage they're using of reducing injury risk, every shoe is going to do that. The same functionality and reasoning that the Nike Invincible 3 is going to reduce injury risk is the same as the on cloud. So unless they publish otherwise through some peer reviewed study. I'm not buying. It's going to be any different. Again, it's the science behind removing weight from a shoe without losing its integrity. So that's it for this video. And that's what makes on clouds different.